What's going on YouTube, Kronos here, and welcome back to what I'm going to start calling our New Player's Guide series. We did this series way back, actually we've tried this twice now, for base PSO2, and you guys seem to enjoy it. It seemed to be very beneficial and helpful for a lot of people jumping into the game. It made the most sense for NGS, and honestly I wanted to have a playlist put together of all of these videos anyway, so... And these videos are going to be targeted towards new players, picking up the weapons, and learning the mechanics, so I figured we could just go ahead and go with that. But let's go ahead and get started with the next weapon in this series, Knuckles. Knuckles will have you donning a pair of gauntlets and doing your best impersonation of Space Bruce Lee. Or, if we're looking for something a bit more modern, basically Don Yen's punches in just about any martial arts movie that he's in. Knuckles, very obviously, is a striking based weapon and is one of fighters' weapons. To start things off, we're going to talk about Knuckles' normal attack combo, as it's a bit different than the other two fighter weapons. Knuckles starts out with a 3 hit combo. However, it can be increased up to 5 hits if you have it talented. While that 4th hit does give you a good chunk of PP regeneration, that 5th hit does quite a bit of damage. Next up, we're going to be talking about Knuckles' weapon action. Most commonly referred to as the Knuckle Sway and seen as probably one of the strongest weapon actions in the entire game, you sway under an attack following up with the counter attack. Now, if you successfully dodge under an attack, you're actually able to follow up with either a normal attack or another knuckle weapon action. That second weapon action will deal a bit more damage, while the normal attack will just be a fifth normal from your normal attack combo. It's worth mentioning that normal attack is actually stored, so if you were to come across a situation where you sway under an attack, you opt to have to dodge another attack by using weapon action a second time, you can then normal after all of that and still get that fifth normal's damage. You can also just straight up not use the fifth normal whatsoever and even just step through the next ability, following up with just a counter normal attack. And after all that said and done, the next time you press the normal attack button, it'll be that fifth normal. Essentially, the normal attack you get for swaying through an ability is stored until you press the normal attack button in a regular combo. That means no photon arts will interrupt it. There is no situation where you can dash to interrupt it. I think the only thing that realistically stops you from being able to do it is changing into a non-combat zone like Central City. It hits fairly hard. It's stored, so it's extremely versatile. Now you can see why Knuckles' weapon action is probably the absolute strongest weapon action we currently have in the game. The LDR, it's good. Use it anytime you can get away with it. Next, I'm going to talk about Knuckle PAs. But before we can do that, we do have to talk about how fighter PAs work in general, because they are a little bit different than other PAs in the game. Fighter PAs are actually two-part PAs, meaning that there's a point in the PA itself that if you're just spamming the button, it'll just repeat the same PA at the very beginning of itself. However, if you let it play out all the way to the end, you'll actually get the full PA. That being said, fighter does have a special talent that interacts with the way these PAs work, called fighter skip arts. Its description reads, using a PA without pressing a directional button will cause the PA to start from its second half. Meaning if you don't press any movement keys whatsoever when using a PA, you'll jump to the second half of the PA, which in most cases is usually its strongest portion. However, if you hold WASD or any movement key on your controller, you will be doing the full PA from start to finish, first part and second. Now with that out of the way, let's start talking about these photon arts which to be perfectly honest, are pretty straightforward in their descriptions. We're gonna start with double drive. Leap forward with a punch before unleashing countless blows. I wasn't kidding when I mentioned that these were straightforward in their descriptions. Basically, you do just a bit of a forward punching combination. It's also worth mentioning the second half of this PA is pretty high in damage, arguably some of the best damage you can get currently four knuckles. However, it is so fast, it also does drain quite a bit of your photon points, so keep in mind how much PP you have. Next, we're going to move on into Swift Rush. Swift Rush unleashes a powerful blow after punching left and right. Yep, that's the full description. Like I said, very, very straightforward. Or I guess in this situation, left and right. Which is a weird way of describing it because you actually just do a left and right punch. However, it does follow up with one large hit that does knock you back a bit. So, in most cases, could be a pretty useful positioning tool. Now, I opted to mention this at the end of both PAs as opposed to the last PA itself because I thought it would be repetitive, but both of these PAs, the second half, have guard frames on them, which means if you have any damage coming at you from the front, you actually guard it while you're doing the PA itself, keeping you from taking any damage or being knocked back. And last but certainly not least, let's move on to Knuckles' third, final, and probably most flashy PA, Thousand Blows. 
you pummel an enemy with countless blows before unleashing a powerful uppercut. Now this is an extremely basic way of saying you essentially do your best impersonation of Jotaro's stand from Jojo's Bizarre Adventures mixed with Ryu's sure you can write at the end. The first half of this PA covers a massive amount of space, meaning it's Knuckles' best option for AoE if you want to use Knuckles for AoE at any point in time. But its real power is in that final uppercut. Not only does it do a massive amount of damage, but it also is fully invulnerable. It's got iframes, meaning that you take no damage whatsoever while doing that portion of the PA. Kind of like a DP, aka Dragon Punch from fighting games. Remember how I mentioned sure you can Ryu? Yeah, this is why the parallel exists. And that does it for the last of Knuckles' PAs. Moving on, we're going to talk about Knuckles' Photon Blast. Now, if you're unaware of how a Photon Blast works, it's basically a special attack that every weapon gets. That attack does build up over time, but is built faster by using Photon Arts and just general attacks. And much like the description of Knuckle PAs, it's very basic in its use. You simply unleash a massive punch in a concentrated spot. Now, while all that damage is concentrated in one location, it's actually one of the weakest options you have for Photon Blasts, at least when you consider fighter's weapons. Not saying that it's bad, but as far as damage goes, that's its trade-off. And that about covers everything. I just wanted to give a huge shout out to the fighter community, those of you guys who are out there testing, putting together spreadsheets, because it's making my life a lot easier with making these videos. Any resource that I gathered any information from will be included in the video description below and the video description of the previous weapon video as well. As always guys, a like on the video does help it a ton. If you had any questions, feel free to toss them in the comments below. Subscribe if you want to keep up with this content moving forward. Don't forget to click on the bell icon to be notified of those videos and community posts. And you can always join us over on Discord or follow me over on Twitter for notifications via those two avenues. Thank you guys so, so much for watching all the way to the end. And I'll see you all in the next video. Take care. Peace out.